All right, let's talk about Lions quarterback Jared Goff had an interesting week. You know, uh, I saw PFF actually had him graded as the fourth best quarterback so far. Uh, I don't know if that's going to keep up, but hey, uh, I actually watched the game and I I kind of agree. I thought he had a really good game, even though this maybe wasn't his best statistical performance. Uh, I thought that his uh, play and his tape was actually really good. Uh, You know, going over to stuff like this, a lot of it is simple stuff, but you know, that's what we always kind of talk about. Uh, you know, I think in a positive way with Goff is he's a really good game manager. He makes the throws that you're supposed to make. You know, we always do the game manager conversation, and is it an insult? I think it can oftentimes be used as an insult, but it itself I don't consider to be an insult. That's an important aspect of the quarterback position is managing the game, and let's see what Goff does here. As you have multiple receivers running deeper routes, then you have another receiver who's going to kind of, you know, uh, just run a slant over the middle. He's the guy you want to hit. The other deeper routes just try to clear out some space. Goff takes the snap. He looks down the field, and I mean, yeah, it's working. Because again, you don't know if it's working. Like, that is an an aspect. It's pre-snap. You feel good that it could work, but you just, you never know, and you have to be able to adjust. Goff sees that it is open. And as you see, Goff makes a very accurate throw and they're able to pick up a first down. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and say Goff was amazing on this play. He wasn't. But you know what? You got to be able to hit these throws. You just do. You got to be able to hit the the simple stuff. And for Goff, that's what he pretty consistently does, I think. Again, going over here, uh, no denying there were some, uh, some easy stuff for him to, you know, easy throws for him to make, which there is value in making the easy throw, but you have to talk about that as that can sometimes inflate numbers, right? Uh, Where what's going to happen is this is a a one-on-one matchup. It looks, appears to be man coverage, but I think the defender just really falls for this play action. Watch how when Goff runs the play action, he fell for it. He thought it was play action. He's way out of position. This is a disaster. And there's even traffic, so he can't just run straight back to cover the player he's supposed to cover. As you see, Goff does notice this. He's going to bomb one down the field. The safety was not able to get over there in time. There you go. Touchdown. You know, good job, Sam Laporta, to get wide open. Uh, at the end of the day, still value in that. But without a doubt, this was a, uh, you know, a, a good play from Goff to notice this, but more of a defensive mistake. Yeah, this happens. And again, Lions, very well coached team, can fool t- players on play action you're going to get some of these. That just is how it is. But also something like this, where what's going to happen is this is a key play. You know, third down and four right here, uh, you have a receiver who's going to run a route that's going to get over the middle. So, okay, you can see how it can work. But again, you know, players going over the middle, you're going to have to throw it over the top of them. The defensive players for Atlanta also can't throw it too high. or it's a safety who's going to be kind of lurking past. Watch how Goff is going to look in that direction. He fires in that direction, gets it over the linebacker over the middle. But again, that's a difficult throw. You have to get it there in a hurry. You really have to throw it very accurately. These are hard throws to make. But Goff makes it look easy, able to put that one exactly where he wanted to put it. Uh, you know, good catch by K.E. Freeman, but that's exactly where Goff was trying to put that football. Just, just really good stuff from him. Now, it was not a perfect game from him. He had some errors for sure. Uh, the interception, you know, I just think this one kind of got away from him, uh, I think. Might have even been a miscommunication, but, you know, again, simple concept. Receiver running over the middle. Uh, let's see what happens. Goff is going to take the snap. He's going to look in that direction. He's going to eventually fire in that direction. Um, and, you know, uh, had an open player for sure. Looks like he just missed the throw a little bit. Either that or he thought his receiver was going to kind of flatten out the route. That's Amon Ross St. Brown. And instead he runs a little bit further deep or maybe the other way around. I don't know. As you see, ends up in a interception. The reality is you miss those throws in zone. A lot of times they are going to result in picks. That's just kind of how it works. But at the same time, uh, you know, it's one throw. It's it's a missed throw. He actually had two missed throws and kind of two bad missed throws in this game. It was one of those scenarios where, you know, you're going to kind of miss some throws in every game. Uh, but I think both of his missed throws really hurt. Like, this one's another one where what's going to happen is, so, the way this play concept works is it is a zone coverage play. You see the route on the screen that Goff is going to want to throw to. Okay, it's a lot deeper down the field than some of the other ones. Kind of hard to show that on the uh, screenshot, but the route's going to be a lot further down the field. 
So anyways, Goff takes the snap, and this play is going to be working. Watch him make this throw, again, player wide open. Hey, Lions good at getting guys open, even against a good secondary. And in fairness, it actually did kind of get, uh, I thought, a uh, lot of good defense later on in the second half, and those windows were a lot tighter, like I showed you, the one where he made earlier. Uh, it was a lot more of that stuff that he had to do. But there were a couple instances of something like this happening. This is the throw you want to see Goff make. It just is. But instead, that throw is, it's just a bit off. It wasn't off by a ton, but it was a bit off. Uh, again, that's Kay Raymond, who could have had a big play there. So, you know, a little bit of some missed throws. But like I said, I thought that the consistency was actually actively good for Jared Goff. Yeah, there was a missed throw or two here and there, but I didn't think that it was like he was missing throws left and right or anything like that. I just thought that he had a couple of missed throws, um, you know. In the second half, the offense definitely did kind of get, uh, you know, it, it slowed down a bit. I thought a lot of that was just kind of fluky plays, like penalties, uh, or again, like I said, some good defense. But like this is, I think this is the main point I'm trying to make with this whole uh, Jared Goff game, I would say, is that like, while it wasn't a perfect day, kind of my main thought process is like, for someone like Jared Goff, if we're going to, when he has a good game, say, well, you know, sure, the numbers were good and everything, but it's the Lions offense. He just had to be a game manager. You know, he made the easy throws and the receivers were able to do the work. Well, then we have to still give him, if we don't give him a ton of credit for that, then we can't give him a ton of blame when he does the exact same thing and it doesn't work out as well. At the end of the day, all he can do is throw the football. Like this is a good example of, okay, you know, Second and 13, you had a penalty that, you know, dropped you back a little bit. You now have Amon Ross St. Brown running kind of an underneath route. Watch as Goff takes the snap. He is going to look in that direction. Amon Ross St. Brown, a little bit open, but let's be honest. Uh, we've watched enough Lions games. We've watched enough Amon Ross St. Brown. You make this throw. You trust that, you know, this could work out. It's going to get you some yards either way, set up a possible third down. But there's a very real chance he's able to break the tackle and get the first down. Instead, you're going to see that he doesn't break the tackle, makes the catch, sets up a third and seven, so still an effective play, but not exactly what they were going for, uh, maybe not what they were hoping for on that specific play, probably, I, I would assume. So, uh, again, kind of the way I view it is this is a good play from Jared Goff. He made the right read, he made the right throw, Atlanta came up with some plays in the second half, but for the most part, they didn't. For the most part, this Lions offense, I think, still had a pretty good day in this one. I know the overall numbers aren't too impressive. You know, 11 possessions. Uh, if you could take out the uh, the end of the game, just kneel down, only 20 points. That's not what the Lions, that's not the standard the Lions have. It just isn't. Uh, at the same time, though, like, it's a good defense. And the Falcons made some good defensive plays. And I think the Lions, uh, you know, had a couple of missteps. But for the most part, I thought Goff himself played pretty well in this one. And there was there were some times, too, where just, like, bad things happen at the worst possible time. Like, they had a receiver open, but then Goff got hit as he was thrown, and that disrupted the pass. Like, that's what happened on the third down right after this play. So, again, as a whole, I think good performance from Jared Goff. Uh, interested to see what they do tomorrow uh, against the Green Bay Packers. That should be fun. But, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on all of this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.